Prince Rupert has a problem. You see, he heard that the Turkish Sultan was going to marry off his beautiful daughter to a man with a flying machine. But the moment Rupert showed up with his unusual paper balloon, the Sultan turned his navy on the prince. And just when it looked like things couldn't possibly get any worse, more suitors showed up to join the fight in hopes of winning the bride's hand in marriage. That's the tragedy of Prince Rupert, a hopeless romantic who now finds himself the star of one of the year's best shoot 'em ups. So get this. Tragedy of Prince Rupert is an arcade-style action game straight out of the 1980s that is heavily inspired by the 1958 Karel Zaman film The Fabulous World of Jules Verne, which in turn was largely based off the 1896 book Facing the Flag. You take control of Rupert's balloon and dodge bullets while shooting down the other suitors. The problem is, you only have one life and not much health, so it quickly becomes all about staying alive for as long as possible. The story of Prince Rupert is not only tragic, but also full of surprises. At first it looks like this is just going to be another dual stick shoot 'em up where getting a high score is the only thing that matters. But as you explore the open world, you discover that there are missions to complete and treasure to find. We're given a book that outlines the different quests found all around the Sultan's castle. But the fun comes in trying to figure out how to complete these missions. What makes Rupert's balloon so cool is that it not only soars high above the earth, but it can also dive deep down into the water to look for treasure. This is where the game becomes more about exploration, problem solving, than shooting down bad guys. Every quest you complete will open up a new page of the story, giving you a slightly better idea of what the prince is going through. As a shooter, Tragedy of Prince Rupert is fairly simple. You fly around with one analog stick and shoot with the other. To add a little depth, we'll be able to pick up explosive barrels from destroyed ships, giving our lovesick hero an extra attack. You can also get gobbled up by a large fish in order to explore the ocean's depths. There's a little more going on here than you might initially expect. That said, I do wish there were actual power-ups and different weapons to choose between. I worried early on if the somewhat small open world was going to be enough to hold my attention, but it turns out that there really is a lot to explore. This is a world filled with surprises, and the different missions do a good job of having you explore different areas that you might have otherwise missed. On the other hand, I do wish there was a little more going on above the water. It would have been nice to fly over a city, or something more exciting than a giant rock. One thing I can't complain about is the visual presentation. From the black and white graphics, to the underwater landscapes, to the full motion prints, every inch of this game is dripping with style. It also has some of the best shoot 'em up sound effects I've ever heard. My only complaint about the presentation is that there isn't enough music. That's a shame. Between the heart pounding action and the emphasis on exploration, Tragedy of Prince Rupert is one of the year's very best shoot 'em ups. I love the way it looks, the quick gameplay, the impactful sound effects, and how the story unfolds based on your discoveries. Whether you're looking to soar into space or go 20,000 leagues under the sea, this is one shooter you definitely shouldn't miss. Hey, thanks for watching our review. So here's the question of the day. What classic movie would you like to see inspire a video game? Personally, I always wanted Rockstar to adapt Repo Man into a punk rock action game. Or broadly, I'd like to see game developers take inspiration from those old W.C. Fields comedies. Somebody has to make that happen. Anyway, I'm currently hard at work on a bunch of reviews. Check back tomorrow for my take on Infinite Mini Golf, as well as leaving Lindau, Sundered, and Avon Colony later in the week. I have a lot to say about all of those games, so I strongly recommend you click that subscribe button and support what we're doing here. Until then.